Hey guys, I want to uh, just do a real quick video here. Welcome back to Ham Radio for Non-Techies, where we try to simplify the ham radio hobby to get you a study for, pass, and get on the air as quickly as humanly possible. Okay, so I had a question from a viewer today that I thought was kind of interesting. I want to bring this up as a uh, quick video. He said he has a strip of land to put, he was asking about the DX Commander. He's like, I got a strip of land that I can put this thing on possibly, and it is six feet wide by 12 feet long. Will it work? Well, what I want to do today is take my measuring tape. This is a standard inch or, you know, standard American uh, measurement tape. I want to measure out the counterpoise wires. I want to measure out the uh, guy wires and see what the distance is there. Because I don't think we really touch, people don't really touch on that much when they talk about the DX Commander. Um, and I'll show you here. We'll just take a look at mine. We'll take a look quick. So there it is. And you can see I've got, I've got it guide out, three wires. And first of all, you need to think about height. This thing is about 31 feet tall. So 31 feet for the, for the mast. Then your guy wires here. You know, I've got mine out about probably about four, four and a half feet long each. And I got them, you know, stretched out so they'd hold this thing nice and steady. But then you have your counterpoise wires down here. And your counterpoise wires are 3.5 meters each on each side. So coming out this side, 3.5 meters. Coming out that side, 3.5 meters. So you're looking at about seven meters of space, which is, you know, roughly about 21 something feet. But let's go ahead and get the measuring tape out. I'll come back and get this measured to show you exactly what we're looking at in American measurement terms. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I'm down here. I've measured out one of the counterpoise wires down here. And we're looking at about 10 feet, 7 inches. So you're probably looking at about... Oh... I'm trying to do the math in my head here real quick. 21 feet, a little more than 21 feet across for your counterpoise. If you had a small space like this, what this uh, uh, viewer was asking about, your counterpoise wires be hanging off considerably. And I don't know if he was talking about a fenced-in area. I didn't get a whole lot of data. I was told I have a 6 foot by 12 foot space. What Will it work? Well, I mean, if you got nothing around you, if you got nothing around it, sure. But if your six foot by twelve foot space is up against a fence, you can't run your counterpoise wires out that way. I mean, I guess you can run them, you can run them, you know, to the sides of the fence and, and back. But still, six feet is not gonna is not really gonna cut it. So in that case, uh, this probably would not work out so well. Uh, as far as the guy wires go, I'm just gonna guesstimate here on the guy wires. I'm gonna say the guy wires from over here to over here is probably about five and a half, maybe six feet maybe a little more so you know that's that right there would take up a lot of your space to uh, put the put the uh, guy wires in with, with your uh, stakes so I mean there's other options for you so if you're actually going to try and uh, mount one of these things like say you have a fence like I have behind me here if there's no metal in the fence I guess you could pin it up against the uh, one of the posts find a way to fasten it to one of the posts and run your when your wires you know to the sides of the uh, fence but I, I don't know if that would work I haven't really had a chance to test it because I don't need to because I've got what I've got back here uh, but uh, I just wanted to kind of just do a quick little thing about that and just kind of bring up some ideas I mean if you're looking to get a DX Commander it is an excellent antenna and it will serve you very well if you get the DX Commander Expedition to go out and do Poto Soda stuff it's gonna do the same it's gonna be a fantastic antenna yes there's a little bit of setup involved but even I have found out now after talking to a couple other people that have them I've learned some little secrets to how to get it up a lot quicker. So for me now, it takes about 15 minutes to set the whole thing up and I'm up and running, ready to go. So it's not really inconvenience that it seemed like before versus putting up just a wire antenna like the spark plug or one of the KM4 ACK antennas. Uh, that was relative, that's relatively simple. Throw a wire up on top of a pole, lead it into a tree, run the wire, back, run the coax back to your radio and you're on the air. I mean, yeah, it's, that's five minutes versus 15. What are you in a hurry for? So... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of just go over this real quick and uh, just show you guys that, uh, you know, this can be done. You know, you got to figure out what your space is, but, uh, you know, there are other alternatives. If you don't have space for a DX Commander, there are other ones out there. And maybe, you know, we can research that together and kind of come up with suggestions. If you guys have suggestions, put it down in the comments for other people to read. You know, I don't know how many people actually go down and read the comments through my videos, but, uh, you know, we're a community here. We're supposed to help each other out, and I think if we really focus on that we can get a lot done and we can accomplish a lot together and become better hams for it 
anyway guys that's my big rant for today and uh you guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe down below and uh we'll get back to you until then guys my name is scott my call sign is ki5npl this is ham reader for non-techies and we are clear